Big problem. Governor Mike Pence says Indiana has led the nation in meth lab seizures three years in a row. A new at 11, the governor signed seven bills related to drug abuse today. One allows a pharmacist to deny the sale of certain drugs that can be used to make meth. Now, the governor says it's part of a statewide effort to stop meth abuse. Indiana in recent years has actually led the nation in, in meth lab busts, which means two things, which means this is a serious problem in Indiana, in the city, and on the farm, and it also, it also means we've been very aggressive in law enforcement in the state. How the law works is somewhat controversial. Pharmacists can require some customers to have a prescription to buy drugs that normally are available over the counter. WSBT 22's Patrick Roth is here now. And Patrick, the hope is this law will limit access to pseudoephedrine. Yeah, Rick, one of the problems with that, as anyone with allergies can tell you, is pseudoephedrine is a key ingredient in a lot of decongestants, like Claritin. And with allergy season right around the corner, some people worry that the only thing this law will do will make it be harder to get the medicine they need. These are the newest soldiers on the front lines in the war against meth in Indiana. Pharmacists. I would say it is awkward. Obviously, pharmacists didn't ask for this methamphetamine problem. If there is a little bit of a, of a soft spot, for lack of a better word, in this particular law, it's we're putting an awful lot of uh, responsibility on pharmacists. Under the law, pharmacists can require customers who, quote, do not have a relationship on record with the pharmacy, unquote, to require a prescription for drugs with pseudoephedrine. That could cause some problems, especially for out-of-state customers. It also doesn't address the fact that there are already restrictions on selling those drugs, but people still wind up making meth. And that's part of the problem. Uh, there was some discussion uh, early on in this legislative session about making some of these precursors uh, prescription only. While police say that some states have had some success in reducing meth production by keeping these kinds of medicines available only with a prescription, the key is finding that right balance between keeping this medicine out of the hands of drug dealers but making it available to the people who need it. It does put the pharmacist in sort of an awkward situation, but um, I mean, we can, you know, naturally deal with that, and uh, we do have some alternatives. So anything that reduces that, that incidence of, of manufacture on our state lands, that's a good thing. Uh, how effective it will be in the long run in terms of impacting the actual amount of meth that makes its way uh, through Indiana, that we don't know yet. Now, there's still a bit of a process that the law needs to go through to figure out exactly how it'll be enforced. That's something the Indiana Pharmacists Alliance and the State Board of Pharmacies and Law Enforcement will be working out. And Rick, pharmacists can also recommend patients get another allergy drug without pseudoephedrine. And to do that, that wouldn't require any prescription.